Hello everybody, Mario Bart, t Intense Tattoo Inc. again with uh, a couple answers for your questions. Um, it is a common question to ask about which style to work in and how to stand out or which style to choose or how many styles are there in tattooing. So from a tattoo artist standpoint, there is never ending amounts of different styles, right? But I really want to zoom into the second question more which makes you how do you stand out in today's age of tattooing uh, the biggest part is if you follow a really top-notch artists right you should always go for the best out there which suit you the best and don't look at the artistry too much because art is an interpretation right and certain things which are art for one person doesn't necessarily mean it's art for another person so it's really important for you to focus on what's important for you which is the technical ability of that specific artist and how does he achieve certain effects there's a lot of new stuff going on with photorealism some amazing work if you're gonna go out there and just uh, look at some of our sponsored artists or from other people as well uh, um, there's some great 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 work out there right like photorealism like portraits in color uh, Steve Butcher of course one of the top guys right now also photorealism in black and gray Bob Terrell and and uh, some old masters like Jack Rudy and Brian Everett and you know the people in that kind of caliber so you want to follow those people and really look how they placing the tattoos and how to shade and how to work on it there's two significant uh, uh, style differences right like one is where you're gonna grow, you go with the stencil and you start placing the outlines and you try to go in uh, then shade everything in uh, um, and you try to create the tattoo that's more the older style the newer style it's almost is it's like a uh, a working like a copy machine like a laser printer right to put the stencil on uh, which has to be very sophisticated and then you start going like line by line by line by line like very systematically and work your way up to the tattoo so it's going to start on the bottom go like a copy machine wherever you work you actually finished and they only bring the highlights in at the end so it's very very important for you to understand where photo realism comes from there's no line work absolutely no line work in today's photorealism everything is shaded at the spot or colored or it's on the on that there's no edges no hard edge they're all being created with light and shade and depth and and light uh, uh close up and deeper colors and uh, uh different shades of different colors to create that barrier what used to be a line so it's it's instead of making a line and working to it you create one side and add the second side right next to it so very very important if you want to work in a photorealistic style that you learn that technique and you have to practice it practice it practice it uh, like anything in tattooing and the other part is like this comic style right comic book style very very uh, uh, known very a uh, uh, lot of people out there which use it make sure that you stay in that comic book style if you try to cross over it maybe doesn't have that look anymore then you're gonna come more in a cartoon style right so there's a difference between a comic book style and a cartoon style so try to look into this a little bit and then uh, of course watercolor techniques right like a little washed out little uh, um, some lines some sharp edged lines on it and then the most of it is created with washed out colors which blend and look like they're not really solid 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 they're like solid in the center and then they fade out to the outside a little bit so there's tons of style i mean we could do this explanation for three hours on how many different avenues you have to express yourself or try to do it but it's uh i think the biggest part for you is you have to dare to be different i mean i always said that it's a big slogan but i said when i when i started tattooing in, in um the early 80s when everything really became good for me it's like it was be different dare to be different if you're not different you like somebody else it's just that way there's nothing you will never stand out if you're not different try to learn as many styles try to steal as much information as you can from other artists how they're doing it and I say steal very specific because it's okay to imitate somebody but still what they do not stealing their pictures don't steal their pictures steal their techniques figure out how they're working it talk to them 
use him, make him yours and create your own and become unique. It's a very important part. If you do not follow other artists, other tattoos, you will never be different. You will never create your own style. You will never stand out. People which are really successful in this industry is when you go to a hundred pictures and you can pinpoint who that person is. That's exactly who you want to be. You want to be somebody who is so distinctively different and learned so many different styles that you finally can create your own uh, um, environment or your own space in this industry. Okay, it's very, very important. Otherwise, we still would work uh, in traditional tattooing style. We still would work like in the 1950s and 60s. Nothing wrong with it was a great style for that time, but we're also not riding a horse from New York to LA anymore, right? We all have different, we fly in a plane now and we are faster and, and, or you drive a car, it's different ways to do it, but you still go faster from one place to another, right? It doesn't take you three years to go from uh, New York to LA. So just think on that a little bit, be different, be unique, add something to it, exchange com uh, uh, knowledge with your fellow artists there's no substitute for exchange of information. So keep going, do that, grow the industry bigger, and I look forward to see you out there. Keep on buzzing.